We found an abandoned Mercedes S500 sitting in a yard that the owner was getting ready to scrap because it wouldn't run. So RJ went and bought it and tried to surprise me with it, but in turn, we got the surprise of a lifetime ourselves. Oh my god! Oh my god! But while working on it, we also came up with a really good plan. RJ just recently reconnected with his dad, and he's really good at working on cars, so we decided if he could come here and help us get it running, we were going to surprise him and give it to him for free. So if you guys want to see if we were able to do that, keep watching the video. All right, guys. So I have the Mercedes loaded up. I'm driving back from about two hours to the west of Cleveland, where we're from. Mike or Brent have absolutely no idea what I went and bought. They're gonna be completely surprised. I can't believe the condition that this thing is in. It has little to no rust, just a couple little bubbles here and there. And then the interior is like almost perfect aside from, you know, normal wear and tear. Yeah, I'll be back soon and we'll see how Mike and Brent do what they think about this. Brent has no idea what it is. I told him I was going to buy a car and uh, he said he had a guess for me. Cause the only thing I told him was that in 1996, this car sold for $70,000 new. Yep. You get one guess. I didn't really have one. I thought you were buying a Supra. <laughs> you thought I was actually going to buy a Supra. Yeah. All right. Well, Not a after we show him this car, <laughs> we have to look at Brent's brain. Because there's no way I would just buy an MK4 Supra without telling Brent. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh, Mercedes. That's cool. Oh, wow, bro. It's classic. That's pretty clean. Look how nice it is in there. No tears in the leather. And wait till you see how well all the electronic works. So we get Wait to drive it? I think so. We're gonna try and start. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see if uh, look in there though, Brent. There's a little secret in there. Is there a dead animal? Yes. Where? What was your first clue? The smell. <laughs> <laughs> no. It looks like a chicken bone. It's That's what I thought too. Oh my God, that smells so bad. <laughs> Dude, it's so bad. It's, oh, that's disgusting. Dude, it stunk up the whole shop earlier. So without even waiting, we wanted to find out what was in there. And when you see it, leave a comment down below how you think all of this got in there. And also if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe right now and like the video because we have so much good content coming your way. You don't want to miss it by being unsubscribed. Oh, look at the bone coming out right here. Ugh. That's a piece of wood. That is not a piece of wood. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Dude, that is. Oh, look at the maggots and all the. Ew! I have never seen anything like that. This is like two weeks in a row. I've never seen anything like this stuff. Get this out of the shop right now. Dude. Oh my god. That's... I don't even know what that all is, man. There's so much. They were probably going through the garbage. Oh, that is through the garbage. That's, that's red, and, dude. That's just chicken and biscuits, dude. I don't even want this in my dumpster. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Dude, it just keeps coming. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess this begs the question, how do you guys think all of this got in there? We have no idea. I have to tell you guys, we might not even get this Mercedes done, and it's all thanks to the sponsor of this video, War Thunder. I can't stop playing War Thunder because it's the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. It's free and it's available on PC, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5. War Thunder offers incredible graphics and details in 4K resolution with authentic sound effects and beautiful music creating an atmosphere to completely immerse you. Their collection of vehicles span over 100 years of development from the 1920s to the present and vehicles suffer real damage to their components and crew rather than the general touch points. You're able to apply hundreds of camouflages, place historical markings anywhere on your machines, as well as 3D decorators such as bushes and equipment. You're able to fly any aircraft in the game using just the mouse and keyboard, which has helped me get a consistent advantage over other players because I've seemed to get really good at it really fast. Play War Thunder for free on PC, Xbox Series S and X, and PlayStation 5. Use our link playwt.link slash wddetailing to download the game and get your exclusive bonus, which includes multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, boosters, and more. That's RJ calling now. I have to get back in the shop to film before I get in trouble. Go download War Thunder. Oh 
So after spraying out as much as we could on the front, later on we did take off the front bumper, but we decided to just wash the entire car first, starting by spraying everything down. And we went from bottom to top just so we could give you guys the full effect of the wash. On a normal wash that we weren't filming, we would go top to bottom, but we wanted to make it as satisfying as possible and let you see all that dirt falling off. Now we're gonna clean the wheels, but these have sat for so long with rust and iron on them, and unfortunately they became pitted. But to be completely honest, I think the OEM wheels would look way better on this car anyways. And for the engine bay, I'm gonna leave this to you Mercedes experts watching right now, what engine's in this car. But when we clean it, we go ahead and we disconnect the battery and we spray everything down with a degreaser. And we don't let it sit for too long, we just use our soft bristle brushes to clean everything and we spray it all away. And this paint was in really rough shape, so we threw a clay pad on the buffer, and we used that to get as many of the contaminants out of it as possible, and it sped up the process of claying by tenfold. And this is just a little message to all the detailers out there. Don't be afraid to get a little creative sometimes to save time. It has these cool little lights, this green and red. Do you see that? What's that for? I have no idea. I think that's the alarm. I'm not sure. That's something with an alarm, probably. This motor already cranks over, but we're gonna give it a little bit of juice, see if we could uh, get it to actually start. Hopefully, fingers crossed. What, tell me when you're ready, bud. All right, let's do it. All right, go for it. Oh, Ooh, right there. <clears throat> go for it. Wow, that's a bummer. All right, so we just changed the fuel pump on the Mercedes, and we're gonna try to start up and see what happens. Come on, baby. 
Just me here right now. Everyone else has gone home. It's about 9.17. Been here for 12 hours cleaning up the Mercedes. Last thing I'm trying, uh, we changed the fuel pump, plugged all those wires back together in the engine bay, and I'm hoping that it's the, the rest of the issue because it'll start but it won't stay running. I'm hoping that it's the MAF, the mass airflow sensor. We'll see, I guess. So this is all I got in me for the rest of the day. If not, I'm gonna have to live to fight another one, but let's see what we got. That's all I got. So RJ came up with the idea after that that he was gonna call his dad and see if his dad could get this car to run. But until then, we wanted to finish cleaning it up and we found a nice little surprise on the door jam. Now we didn't film ourselves cleaning the leather because it was in such good condition already, but I wanted to show you guys that you should always be conditioning the leather after you clean it. So if you have leather or vinyl and you're not doing that already, you should definitely start doing that now. Now for the paint, it definitely needed to be sanded down. So RJ went ahead and did that. And then he used the orbital polisher followed by the dual action. And although the paint didn't come out perfect everywhere, it made a major improvement. And when you're detailing, you need to understand that you can't always get everything 100% perfect, but if you can make major improvements, a win is a win. And then as RJ was finishing polishing, his dad arrived and as soon as he walked in, he said how much he loved this car and he wanted to buy it from us. So we got a second by ourselves and we said, hey, let's have him work on it and then let's give it to him at the end of the video. All right guys, so I'm under the Mercedes right now trying to diagnose why we can't get to the start and idle. We realized that the fuel pump was dead. So we went ahead and replaced that and now we're replacing the fuel filter and then uh, we're draining all the old gas. We're gonna put fresh gas in and give it a turn and hopefully get to start. <laughs>
They call this the look of defeat. There's like seven looks of defeat that I've already looked into the camera with. <laughs> There's one where I'm just like, oh. At this point, we think it's the injectors. Uh, so we're gonna have to pull the fuel rev, which we had just started. But uh, I don't know, Dad, when do you wanna come back and work on your Mercedes? Yeah, probably Monday, Sunday or Monday. That's when you wanna come back and work on your Mercedes? Yeah. <laughs> like, put it on no DB and see what we got. <laughs> yes, dude. I don't think you understood. Your Mercedes? Oh, it's mine? The one that we're giving you? Your Mercedes? Wow. <laughs> Man, if I can't pick up a girl with this, <laughs> my Harley didn't do me no good. Well, that's an authentic reaction from my father. No fake YouTube BS here. I didn't know if you were serious or not. I'm dead serious. We don't lie. I didn't know. Well, <laughs> I'm excited. There's the genuine Thank reaction. Thank you. Yeah, of course. I thought you guys were messing with me. No, we were messing with you. You think we'd mess with you like that? I knew that you liked it. I do like it. It's, a, it's in such great shape. It deserves to go again and or to drive again. And honestly, you're one of the only people that could keep it on the road, you know? <laughs> well, I am excited now. I didn't. I thought you guys were lying to me. No. Well, now I got to get it running. Oh, yeah. Love you, Dad. Love you, too. Thanks. And I really quickly just wanted to get personal and say thank you guys again for watching this video. We could not do what we do without you. And we also couldn't do it without the sponsor of this video, War Thunder. With the help of them, we were able to buy this Mercedes and surprise RJ's dad with it. And without them, we would have never been able to do that. So make sure you guys go download War Thunder at playwt.link slash wddetailing in our description. It's such a fun game. And by doing that, you help support us and we can keep making these videos. So with that being said, we'll see you guys next week.